So I was recently looking for a cheap 24-inch monitor to extend the screen of my MacBook Air M2 and this is what I found and I found it to be a great value. This is the ViewSonic VA2409MHU and what's so special about this monitor is that it has a USB-C input which also supports charging my MacBook Air M2 and also any other laptops that has USB-C charging. And here's my thoughts on why this could be the best productivity monitor Monitor that you can spend under 500 ringgit. So just a quick disclaimer here, this video is not sponsored by ViewSonic or any other PC retailers and I personally purchased this monitor from this Lazada page as you can see here. It retails at 498 ringgit and 88 cents which I personally think that this monitor should not be priced this low. So the VA2409MHU is a 24 inch panel, it's a 16 by 9 panel and the effective viewing area is just a 23.6 inches based on its aspect ratio. Now this is a full HD panel that refreshes at 75 hertz which i think is really great i mean it's not as smooth as a 144 hertz but it is at least better than a regular 60 hertz monitor and on the back here surprisingly as a really affordable entry monitor you get a vesa mount which means that this monitor is ready for business if you want to mount it onto a vesa stand and the stand that views on it provides is a plastic stand and it's not of course the most sturdy one as you can see right here creaks and all that but it is able to tilt well if you want to adjust it to your angle there's no hard adjustment on this which is quite a shame but since this is an affordable monitor there's really nothing to complain about and in terms of inputs this is where this monitor really impresses me now aside from the USB-C input that I mentioned earlier, it also has VGA as well as HDMI. And I think VGA port is still something that a lot of people still use these days, especially for legacy devices out there. So if you're intending to use this for an office PC and all that that still has a VGA port, you got it. This is still a great monitor to consider. But otherwise, let's talk about the USB-C port. Now, the USB-C port basically supports up to 65 watts of charging output, which I think is a really great charging output because most laptops with USB-C charging supports that kind of power input and I think it is really really great that ViewSonic has made this affordable monitor that supports up to that charging output. As you can see, I've extended my M2 MacBook Air screen onto the VA2409MHU and it only requires just one single cable onto its USB-C port here and it also charges the laptop at the same time. And according to the power report, it does really deliver 65 watts of power over to the M2 MacBook Air and as you can see, it looks great. The colors actually look very vibrant. It looks very accurate as well. And the scrolling is super smooth, even smoother than the M2 MacBook Air because of that 75 Hz refresh rate. Now, what's even more impressive about this monitor is that it also supports the Nintendo Switch. So usually you will need to like put on the Switch's dock in order to connect to a regular monitor and all that. But all you need to do is to just use one single USB-C cable, just connect to the Switch and you can just play your Switch with its wireless Joy-Cons. And that's really simple and I really love what this monitor is able to offer. Now let's take a look at the on-screen display menu of this monitor. Now we have a total of five buttons right under the panel here, which one of them is a power button. So let's press on the first one, which is the star button, which actually gives you quick access to some settings here. So we now have the input select, and if we press this I button here, we switch to view mode, which is basically an image preset for the monitor. And interestingly, it has two very special uh, image presets here, which one of them is the mono mode, which essentially turns the screen into a monochrome display. And I think it's great for those who really care about their eye health. And speaking of eye health, this monitor actually supports blue light filter so you can actually reduce blue light if you're sensitive to it and the other interesting image preset is the mac image preset which is tailored for mac computers and all that like i just realized that there's just an increase in brightness and saturation and that's pretty much about it but otherwise um the rest of the settings are pretty commonly found on some other monitors out there now let's get on to other settings here now this is the volume setting and by the way this monitor comes with a pair of 2 watt speakers and they actually sound not too bad of course it sounds tiny it lacks bass and all that but you get the idea most monitors do not come with very good speakers right 
Now let's get on to the next setting. Now this is where you uh, configure the contrast and brightness. And finally, it's back to display inputs. Now let's get to the main menu here by pressing this button. So this is how the on-screen display menu looks like. It is very intuitive, it's very user-friendly, and there's really no difficulties in getting around. So I'm not sure why is there a battery progress bar right here. I'm assuming that it doesn't detect my MacBook's uh, charging progress and all that. But yeah, it's probably just for show. And here, this is where you get to select your inputs and audio adjust, view mode as usual, which is what you have seen on the star menu that we checked out just now. So this is where you can adjust the color, temperature and all that. So as you can see, it has sRGB, bluish, cool, native, and you can configure your own color as well. Color space, that's RGB, YUV, and color range, full range or limited range, all leave it back to auto mode. Now you can go to the Im manual image adjust here to do some more uh, adjustments if you want to. The sharpness, blue light filter, like I mentioned earlier on, black stabilization, advanced DCR response time. By the way, this monitor actually has really good response time when it comes to gaming. And if we head on to the next one, which is the setup menu, we get even more settings here, such as variable refresh rate. So since this monitor supports 75 Hz, you basically get variable refresh rate when you play uh, high FPS games. It's not that it can do very well, but then it at least has that feature. Now, we also get some information here, uh, such as the uh, refresh rate, pixel clock, and so on. And yeah, that's pretty much on the on-screen display menu. It's very user-friendly and it's really, really basic and straightforward for a affordable entry-level monitor. So yeah, that's a quick overview and my review of the ViewSonic VA2409MHU. It's a great productivity monitor as well as a good switch monitor if you want to call it that way. It has a really nice 24-inch super clear IPS panel that refreshes at 75Hz. Great amount of inputs and dual speakers, which is something that you can't really complain at the price of 500 ringgit. So yeah, if you guys would like to get one for your own, definitely click on the link down below to purchase from the dealer that I purchased from as well, because I think this is really a worthy purchase if you're looking for a good and affordable 24-inch monitor. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right out, and I'll see you in the next one.